Hello and welcome to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Uh, very interesting, very intricate, very long game. Um, fooled around a little bit in it and tried to learn as many of the mechanics as possible. We're going to play early middle age and we're going to do a custom setup. I am by no means an expert at this game, but I think this game is fun enough that I would like to record uh, myself playing it. Uh, you know, maybe for more advanced players, you can start somewhere where there's a lot of uh, beef going on in your area, especially uh, down here where the uh, uh, African and uh, Oriental um, influences come from. Uh, probably the safest bet would be to be one of these islands that is not yet a full-on kingdom, so you can slowly progress, and that's what I'm kind of going to aim for. Um, so, we're going to go with Dublin here, and we're just going to play it. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't know uh, what to tell you. Um, the whole point of this Let's Play will be... For an immersive story where we're gonna try and roleplay each character into their traits. So, you know, I'm gonna try and make the best decisions game wise, but also I will play into whatever, you know, whatever uh, traits we got. So, for example, uh, Chief Konglak of Meath. I'm gonna butcher a lot of names too, um, English not being my first language. He's a dutiful cleric. Uh, we are humble, zealous, craven, and temperate, so we're definitely going to go for, uh, theology. Uh, we're just going to roleplay that. Uh, our ambition is going to be to, um, see the realm prosper. Uh, we are married to our wife. Uh, we are 59. She is... 44, she's Midas Touched, uh, she's got some nice stewardship uh, stats. Uh, lustful, cruel, just. Okay, that's a pretty good match. We have one son, Mr. Flan Mac Konglak, who's not married. He is a brilliant strategist, and a trickster, ambitious, arbitrary, zealous, greedy. This should be fun. Is the music too loud? Music might be a bit loud. That's a bit better. Yeah. Um, okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're not gonna marry our heir right away. Um, minor titles, I could give to people, but it does, it gives me prestige, but it eats away at my salary, uh, like, or at my economy, because I'm giving people a salary. But it also pleases people, so I'm gonna put off uh, on doing that just yet. Um, although the prestige definitely outweighs the salary, so maybe, maybe we will do it. But before we assign anybody, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna search the realm for men that are not in prison uh, I don't care if they're married or not uh, they need to be willing to join my court and they need to be my religion uh, to avoid issues and they need to be adults so we're gonna save this filter as uh, filter 2 or 1 I guess um, so what this means is we're gonna look for the best diplomatic person and invite them to court. We're going to look for the most militaristic person that's not ancient and we're gonna invite them to court. We're gonna look for the best steward and invite them. Apparently I cannot uh, invite them to court, okay. Invite this person to court. Let's see our best, uh, what do you call that, intrigue person, and our best learned ability person. Invite all five of these. So now we're just going to wait a little bit. That's one person arriving, two people, three, four, five. Alright, so everyone's here. 
So basically, the whole point of this game is to build up a dynasty. So you have to do very tactical allegiances, marriages, make sure uh, you transfer down property prop, um, you know, um, all your possessions properly to uh, <laughs> to your posterity here. Currently, we are on Ag Agnatic Cognatic Gavelkind, which means the titles of the ruler are divided amongst his children, with the oldest getting the primary title. So if you have too many kids, which is why we're not rushing to marry, uh, get a, a spouse for our son here, is uh, all the titles will get divided and spread out, and the you know the power of the crown uh, doesn't really flourish properly. So we're gonna want to change that eventually when we go from tribalism to what is it, feudalism. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to have absolute tribal organization, and we need a stone hill fort. Let's look at our, um, that's our capital. Okay, so this one has four slots, this one has five slots, so we're going to make this our capital. Make crown focus, make capital, good. Um, and we already have these. So, while well, tribal... To upgrade these, this costs money, but the rest costs us pr prestige. We should probably invest with the titles. So now that these fine gentlemen are in my realm, let me appoint the most skilled person to do the most appropriate job. You will be my chancellor. You uh, will send you to work in just a second. My marshal is already 19. I did not know that. Okay. Sorry for the guy that I pulled over in my court. You will be my steward. My spy masters are already 19. Sheesh. My court chaplain. There you go. You're my court chaplain. So, we're going to fabricate claims with our chancellor to try and get some uh, juicy titles that we can use. Our marshal is just going to... What is this doing? Organize an army. Commander improved, found, brawl. Okay, we'll we'll leave you to organize for now. My steward can administer the realm and improve my demands. Uh, my spy master. Um, sabotage, not really. Build a spy network. Uh, let's just send them over to learn some stuff and we'll send you to the Vatican because uh, those guys are some serious business at this day and age. And as for my core chaplain, hunt apostates. We don't need to convert anybody. I don't think we need to improve any religious... You know what? We'll improve religious stuff with the Pope. Maybe he'll grant us some money because... He really likes us. I know. Uh, okay. So that has been dealt with and taken care of. Now, in order for me to advance to organization here, I need to be a higher rank than count. That means I need to start... Uh, religion, culture, economy, de jour. We need to see what we have here. So... M I, I basically need these two properties in order to do meth. Um, so this person has 465 army, where we have 1,000. So this guy is our first target. So we're going to get our chancellor to fabricate a claim here, please. Which, uh, that's a 19.38% chance yearly. So we have good odds. Uh, who's going to rule in uh, as regent in case I'm away or something? Uh, we should definitely put this with um, someone we trust, like our son. Uh, the court physician will be this skilled person, master of the horse. Um, we'll give to whatever. This guy, master of the hunt, will give to the son. The high almoner can be this guy. The cupbearer is a person that I dearly trust, so I need someone that has very good rep with me. 
my spy master. Court tutor is who's going to educate my kids, so we need the person with the highest learning to do that. And we have a military commander. So this is our council right here. Everyone's pretty happy. And now we wait. Our monthly income is 0.69 wealth and our monthly prestige is 0.64 and piety is 2.67. So that's interesting. I am 59. I am not going to worry about certain things. Um, in my theology focus, yeah, I don't really have anything special. I'm not special in any way. Increasing infrastructure and motivating the local people to work even harder. My steward. Thank you, steward. Monks uh, from the nearby monastery have been stopping to trade for supplies quite often lately. They usually linger to talk and exchange knowledge. I should seek their company more often, and I gain some piety and possibly some uh, learning. How tedious these men of God. So I could become cynical, which affects my piety, gives me plus two intrigue, but some other pluses and bonuses. So we're currently at seven learning. Let's take the chance. We did not gain the learning. That's fine. We get some piety at least. Uh, yeah, so early game, there's not much going on because of the slow start that we picked. Man, I love these songs. <laughs> uh, basically, to upgrade, I would need a hundred. Oh, I need technology for this, but I would need a hundred prestige, which will take quite some time. My steward's hard at work in Dublin. All right. I'm starting to think La Serafiona might fancy me. Make a move. Wait, wait, what's going on here? She's my cor cor courtier. Um, she's 17. Oof. And she's an underhanded rogue. Um, I am a dutiful cleric. Possess the beautiful penmanship. Lacks particular interest in theology. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have gone theology then. <laughs> I should have gone the other one. Scholarship. I'm a humble, zealous, craven, temperate. Do I cheat on the wife? Uh, let's just say no for this one. I'm too old. I'm not interested. Now over here in the intrigue, we could do some stuff to boost our um, our prestige. So we could hold a summer fair. Let's just pause it right here. A summer fair would cost a lot of gold, but it would give me some slight temporary prestige. A feast would do the same. I don't know if I want to do that. I could go on a pilgrimage. <laughs> I just feel that this character is too old for me to invest into their prestige. Uh, oh, we can go to the barber. We can tell him if we want him to lead armies or not. And we can see our bloodline. We are blood of Nile of the Nine hostages, so we have that bonus applied to us. Dude, my steward's just, like, spicing stuff up. That's good. Uh, your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around the realm. Among others, it has quite impressed this person, my court chaplain. You have maintained correspondence on various religious and philosophical matters for some time and find that you are rapidly becoming good friends. Alright friend that is good my council seems generally pleased with me why are you displeased short reign okay foreigner we just craven how am i a fo foreigner i'm irish huh 
What? Oh, he's a foreigner. He's Frankish. You know, so that's the issue with getting random people that are not my culture. But, you know, I need the stats. He can get over that. That, that negative 10 we can get over. Okay. This person displeases me for the same reason. This guy loves me because we're friends. My son. What is my relationship with my son? Yeah, the stuff that I gave him to do makes him pretty content and happy. So don't really need to worry about anything. There is an old hermit somewhere in the backcountry of Dublin who is said to possess great wisdom as well as razor sharp wit. Some claim he once served in the clergy. Others say he was a mercenary captain who decided to put down his arms for good. Whatever has passed, many seek him out for counsel. Will you take the advice from a decrepit old man? Hardly. No, we'll, we'll listen to him. He came to us. With the mule as your only company, you depart for the hermit's cave. Oh, okay, I misread that. The journey is long and the roads where they exist are in poor condition. Finally, after reaching the end narrow mountain path, you come upon the cave. A ragged piece of cloth is all that shields the entrance from the outside. Old man, show yourself. The cloth parts slightly to reveal the face of a, a gnarled old, old man. He regards you in silence for the moment uh, with his beady eyes, then disappears behind the cloth again. No solicitors. I have traveled far. I won't be denied. You push the curtain side, enter the dark cave. Deep inside, you find the hermit seated on a cushion of flickering candlelight. A cushion of candles? What? Uh, he seems to be in some kind of uh, trance at first, but then he opens an eye and looks at you with mild annoyance. I thought I said, well, spit it out. What do you want? I hope to share in your wisdom. May I stay? Sheesh. 700, uh... <laughs> AD, some crazy times. After much badgering, the old man finally relents and permits you to stay for a few days. You observe him carefully and learn as much as you can. In the end, his wisdom seems limited to an endless scream of platitudes and maxims. You have memorized many, and at least they will make you seem more learned in the eyes of others. Gain two learning, you know, that's not too bad. I know I didn't bring my marshal or my bodyguard with me. Why did I go alone? What's wrong with me? Game. Come on. Days are ticking by. Come on. Give me give me a claim. Uh, the Pope has been succeeded. Uh, okay, there are many mysteries in the Catholic faith that might be interesting to spend some time delving into old texts of the Bible. Yeah, sure. Let's gain some piety while we're at it. Uh, can I ask this guy for money yet? No. Oh! <gasps> My liege, my work in Sildara, this thing, seems to have come to uh, fruition by bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents. I've managed to fabricate a claim on the chiefdom of Sildara, presently held by that guy. I uh, leave it up to you whether to use it or not. So for nine and a half gold and a prestige hit, we're going to use it. Alright, so now we're going to tell him to fabricate. Okay, to uh, claim on the other one. Just so we have all four. That's pretty good. It only took a couple of years. Yeah, started at 58 or 59, now I'm 61. In the past few months, you've been spending many nights reading the Bible. The text contains many items of wisdom and also gives hints of the most important mysteries of the Blessed Virgin. Uh, the sacred texts illuminate me, so I gain some piety and some temporary stats. Nice. Alright, we have a bit of learning now. I think anything over 10 is, like, gonna trigger more events, so looking forward to that. How's my realm doing? Looks like they're doing fine. The church is greedy. Is a greedy thing. Who always needs more alms, but I have deep pockets, and it's for a good cause, so I lose a gold. Okay. A uh, steward has. Uh, how do I even say your name? Engurand. Engurand has had some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. 
economy technology spread rate and lose only one gold prosperity increases yeah let's do that what's our prosperity level at how, how do i see that terrain climate hold on uh supply limits okay this doesn't tell me Donga smack whatever has arrived at your court. Why can't I imprison someone? What is this? This guy I can imprison. He is Irish? He's a branded apostate. He is excommunicated. He's a rogue, deceitful, greedy, gluttonous, content. I have 87% chance to lock him up. He has no gold. We should probably lock him up, um, just because uh, otherwise he might settle in our uh, land and cause some havoc. <laughs> what army is this? You having issues at home, bro? Oh, wait, this is a kinsman. Oh. We're cousins, sort of. Hmm. I declare war on them. Hmm. My liege, the people of Roma have progressed beyond our own technological level. I have managed to study their advancements, and the documents enclosed here should help us reach their level. I hope you will find this to your satisfaction. <gasps> Ooh, we're gonna get some tech. We got some tech, so we got some economical technology. Um, so what do I need to build the ships? I need shipbuilding one. Oh, that's in military. Okay. Uh, what do I get most of my taxes from? Do I know? Tax is 4.7. For this one, it's 18. Oof. All right. We're going to we're going to tax those guys. Uh or we could do improve keeps trade practices, construction modifiers. Hmm, maybe construction modifiers are better. We'll go for that first. Just so stuff builds a bit faster. My marshal has discovered a man of great military talent called Male Dubth, who is willing to serve in my ranks. Alright, let's look at him. He is lowborn. He's Irish. Okay, he's got some, some stats. He's a hunter, a greedy kind, temperate, tough soldier. Yeah. Excellent. Good. A group of robbers calling themselves the Band of Brothers have been uh, brought before me. The long list of all their crimes does not put them in good light. Why would I care about them? I lose prestige. They will pay a merciment. Uh, people will be happy. Such crimes will not go unpunished. And I gain diligent, which is an overall good thing. So that brought up my stats a little bit. That's wonderful. People of Roma progressed. Hey, we progress again. Nice. Uh, Chief Forbashak of Lagan is trying to usurp my title. His chancellor is supposedly traveling around trying to find both documents and supporters to help him legitimize. So that's that's this guy. This guy wants to attack us. He's got 782. Okay. I make him disappear. Try to bribe him, no. 
I'll let it be for now. So we can attempt to murder people, <laughs> which is very interesting. My marshal has discovered another man of great military might. This guy's amazing. Yeah, I want him. 21 military. Man, this music is amazing. In other news in the world, England's not formed yet. Neither is Scotland. Iceland is now. Um, a lot of other stuff in Europe is very... Germanic tribal stuff going on here. Central Europe is an absolute mess. Um, Montenia. <laughs> yeah. Even the Byzantine Empire is a mess. Holy Roman Empire is not formed. Everything is just in pieces. Just independent? Yeah, it is. Chief has fulfilled the ambition to see the realm prosper. Wonderful. I am now known as the Shrewd. Based on what? Okay, whatever. My new focus shall be. I'm not gonna get 2000 piety. Quality 2 treasury is not gonna happen on this guy. This guy's gonna kick the bucket soon. Uh, build a war chest. 700 gold. 300, whatever. We're gonna build a war chest. And we're gonna focus on a scholarship. Build an observatory. Okay, we're not gonna do that though. All the neighbors seem to be minding their own business. This guy's military has not increased. Mine has slightly increased. This guy. Ooh, this guy's evenly matched with me. I gotta be careful. A rumor about a spy sneaking around in my own castle was confirmed this morning when I caught him red handed. I am not concerned. Behead him. The temple vassals will not like it. I'll kill him with my bare hands. Mmm. I get strong, which gives me prestige and I lose piety. Let's do that. Okay, so that's just a temporary thing. Whatever, I'll take it. I'll take it temporary. <laughs> Come on. Come on, let's take this one over here. Another reason to not marry your heir early on is to have a kid as late as possible. So for example, this guy's 24 and I am 64, so I had him when I was 40. Um, yeah, around 40 would be good to have a kid, to have it as late as possible so that when you take over with your posterity they're as young as possible so you have the most amount of time to uh, rank up prestige because pr prestige does not pass down from one person to another each individual has their own individual reputation that they form what is this your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around you have maintained All right we're friends with our vassal now wonderful all right this guy's neutral and everyone else is very happy with me. I stayed behind with a couple of my friends when went hunting as I have never been able to see blood without fainting. Uh, their hunting luck was good and we feasted on wild boar. I fainted when I saw the boar's face covered with bloody froth and I lose 10 prestige. Man. Okay. And speaking of which, there we go. We have passed on at the 
tender age of what, 65 or something? Our son's 25. And uh, Chief Kagalalala, whatever, has given up the ghost at 65. He died natural death, a shining example of diligence. His duty was never neglected, a godly man. He's with the Lord now. Meanwhile, being a talented military te tactician, we expect him to lead us to many victories of, on the field of battle. Long live the chief. So. <laughs> I forgot this. Claims do not pass down. Claims do not pass down. I no longer have a claim on a Sildara. Uh, oh, this guy is my, my kinsman and my heir, apparently. Okay, that's because I don't have kids. Well, we're going to change that immediately. So we're going to go here and we're going to look for women that are not in prison, that are not married. I don't care if they want to join my court or not. They need to be my religion. And they need to be an adult, so we're gonna save that as filter zero there. Uh, what I'm gonna look for is specifically um, <sighs> there's so many good traits, so we either need uh. Like, uh, genius is a very good trade. Um, quick and strong are also good traits. I'm trying to find that, but I don't see anyone here with that. Okay, we also want to... Let's go by age. We want to pick someone, you know, not incredibly old. We need someone that's of uh, childbearing age. See, so this one's quick, for example, plus three to everything. So that's a flamboyant schemer. Okay, this one's really good. Anybody else nearby? This one's already... Oh, it's a head hedonist. This one's horrible. A celibate homosexual scholar that's negative five to fertility on top of the other stuff. This one's a hunchback. All right, so we're going to go with Herildis who's a courtier in Perch. She's Frankish, that's fine. We're gonna arrange a marriage between you and I. She's gonna say no. Ew, I got denied. That's not nice. All right, anybody else with a good modifier? Just take our time and make sure we get the good stuff. No, that's about it. For women of my religion that are adult, that are not married and not in prison. Interesting. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, let's see who has the best stewardship. Is this one that she doesn't want me? This one's a skilled tactician, just charitable. This one's a nun. A celibate nun. Definitely not getting that. Alright, let's go for... Helms... Helm... Helmsuinda. Yeah, let's go for her. She does not want to marry either. Okay, this is... Bizarre. She's an indulgent wastrel, a gardener, diligent, cynical, greedy, kind. This one's a tough soldier. Okay, let's go with... Hmm. This one's a fortune builder, but a nun. Disqualified from inheritance. No, you don't want to go with that. This one's an elusive shadow, plus nine to intrigue. Holy, she's brave. Oh, but she's chaste and stubborn. Man, tough crowd. Slothful, cynical, content. Great eminence, fertility. Okay, so she has a fertility bonus. Slothful does not take away from that. 
All right, fine. Let's. Well, hold on. Let's let's look at what we are. So we are a brilliant strategist, trickster, ambitious, arbitrary, zealous, greedy. I have chest pains. Dang. All right, let's go for Giuseppa here. She will marry. Okay, good. So our focus, we're a brilliant strategist, man. We could go for a war, but I'm going to go hunting just because I need that plus one health to make sure I don't die young. Um, and our ambition is going to be to... See the realm prosper. Come on, marriage. Alright, we are married. Uh, we can collect a royal aid. So either 10 gold or 13 prestige. I will take the gold, thank you. Uh, okay, I accept your suggestion. Cool, dude. Alright, why have I lost all my counselors? What just happened? Yeah, you can be my chancellor, you can be my marshal. Oh, because I was marshal before, right. You can be my spy, and you can be my chaplain. Alright, you're going to improve religious relations with the popo. You're going to study tech over there. You're improving demands, you're organizing the army, you're gonna fabricate claims. So let's go. And let's give out some titles. My regent will be my vassal. Master of the hunt will be my steward. And that is it for everything else. Council is discontent. Don't worry. They'll get over it. Can't really modify any laws for anything yet. Now, there is something called societies. So we can either join uh, the naughty naughty one, but I'm not going to do that as a tactician. The hermetic one I cannot join because I need to be nomadic. Or oh, I need learning at least 10. I've got Intrigue 10 and Marshall 21. So if I join the Dominican or the Benedictine, this one will give me stewardship, which is always nice. And the other one will give me learning, which I don't need. So I, I'm gonna go for the stewardship bonus of the Benedictine order. God's blessing upon thee. We are delighted by your decision to join our ranks as a lay member, Chief. Together we shall strive for the betterment of ourselves and our fellow Catholics by following the rule of Saint Benedict. And I say, it is a great honor, uh, Conversus, which is the lead guy. So we're a Donatus. Uh, oh, we have negative fertility, but we have piety. Hmm, whatever. Don't I have something that gives me a fertility bonus? Uh, zealous, greedy. Well, the wife has a 10% fertility. So overall, we're negative 5% on fertility. But we're young, so we're going to make it happen. Um, My plots. Oh, no, no, no. I would like to trying to kill my kinsman which kinsman no 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 abandon plot yes abandon we have this prisoner if I execute them no one will say anything let's just execute them the apostate excommunicated person all right so as a hunter I think I can go on a great hunt. You're impotent, 
incompetent <laughs> Stewart has let a group of smugglers into the country into the county apparently he thought they were merchants Ooh, disease local build local cost dang it my court physician has shared some of his latest ideas with me I don't know how much of uh, medicine but perhaps he's on to something he has asked for some money to develop his theory 20 gold Or negative five. Okay, I'll give him gold. And he's gonna be grateful. Because he is my physician. And he is pretty smart. So, let's see what he does with that money. So, intrigue. We can go on a hunt. It's gotta be September, though. And the hunt is gonna cost 25 gold. And give me a slight prestige bonus. Mm. <laughs> At age 50, your mother died. Bedridden and infirm. Oof. Hey, there it is. The White Stack. Lately, you have heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers in the wilds that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. It's a white stag, powerful and elusive. The common folk claim it comes from another world and that the hunter who uh, who claims it will be imbued with divine power. Yeah, let's send people to find it. Um, Is there a UI scale? Game has to be restarted. Okay, fine, forget it. My steward has been hard at work increasing infrastructure. Okay. Good job, steward. Nice. Can't really do anything until I am higher than just a count. And it was January, I totally missed the Grand Hunt thing. A good money maker is expelling the jewelry. Um, why can I not do this? I have to be higher than a duke. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Chancellor, you've got a 20% chance. Good news, my lord, we've received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag. Saddle my horse. A chief has is trying to usurp it. Uh, let it be for now. I imagined a situation which became more and more intimidating with an outcome that could mean life or death. I, sh I swallowed hard and decided that I would run away, stay put, and fight. Brave. Oh, obviously, I'm a military dude. What the heck? I didn't even get brave at 70% chance? Uh... Haramel has published the results of his medical investigations. The books has not received any notable attention. It is just gathering dust. A waste of gold. Okay, well, we tried. People of Roma have... Okay, we got some more tech that we can invest in this time. Uh, we can do military and culture. So culture, I believe... Hmm... This is just vassal opinions. This is piety gain. Legalism is uh, regarding laws and stuff. So we definitely want to get that going. And let's get shipbuilding over here. Uh, we're not going to build stuff just yet. You, uh, you have gathered your followers and your hunting dogs. You have saddled your horse and prepared your weapons. You're ready to set hunt for the white stag. In an epic hunt it shall be. 
Alright, let's see if we get it. You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but you are forced to return empty-handed. You are sure that no one's impressed by your failure. So I can lose prestige, or I can say it's because my retainers are useless. So I'll gain proud, which has like no negatives to it. So obviously I'm going to do that. That's a huge monthly prestige bonus. Oh, my prestige bonus is way up there. Hold on. Can we do a hunt? Uh, less than November. I Oh, I have a health trait that's forbidding me. Chief is trying to usurp. I better let it be. Come on. My marshal tells me that one of my commanders has improved significantly. Excellent. <laughs> there are a few monasteries close by where the lay members of the Benedictine order frequently convene. As such, is it expected that every so often uh, I attend these meetings and that I spend a fair amount of time at these monasteries to get in touch with the monastic foundations of the order? Sure. God's blessing uh, uh, upon the uh, Donatus Flan. The order cares much for the souls of the member of our members. As much uh, as such, we would like to advise you to go on a pilgrimage. Sure. What does that mean? I just lose a bit of gold. Okay, I shall go on a pilgrimage at one of the holy places of Christianity. I have not been at the monastery for a few days surrounded by others who share my passion for God, and yet I still find I miss having a friend. Donatus Brorda <laughs> and myself seem to be getting along quite well, though perhaps this could blossom into a true friendship if we did something together. I'm sure we could greatly enjoy. So this guy is also a brilliant strategist, so we definitely gotta go for a military, right? There are a number of uh, different holy places that you could visit on your pilgrimage. All of them are considered sacred by the Holy Church, but a somewhat closer destination might mean a safer journey. Let's go for a saintly burial site. Let's start off slow. There have been many inspirational saints and it's difficult to come to an agreement about where to go, but my advisors finally narrowed down to a couple of potential options. All four of them are good choices, but when it finally comes to making a decision, I feel there is one more fitting than the rest. Hmm. So I'll travel to see the supposed grave of St. Patrick of Ireland. St. Augustine is well known for his importance. Or to Antioch. Let's go with St. Augustine. Earl truly enjoyed my suggestion and we have become close friends. We regularly seek each other out during our free time and I'm starting to notice that it affects my focus on my monastic duties. Let's focus on duties. It is why I'm here after all, and we gain some piety, but become close friends, and plus three learning. But if we spend more time, we become friends, and what is the harm? It's not as if we're doing something unnatural. 50% chance to gain Gregarious. Let's go. Ooh, that's really good. Gregarious is a really good. Plus two diplomacy and a bunch of positive from other people. So that is really good. Meanwhile, on the pilgrimage, the journey to the ancient city of Hippo has been planned for a while. A traveler has to be prepared for, for what you might meet uh, in the exotic lands of Africa. I'm excited to finally be on my way uh, to find my destiny as I search for the final burial place of St. Augustine. An exciting journey on pilgrimage. Alright, you take over as my regent. I come across another group of pilgrims also traveling task for the blessing of St. Augustine. Traveling together could be beneficial and safer, though probably somewhat slower. 50% chance to lose Gregarious. Nope, we're gonna go with the company. Spending time in the monastery all day alongside my friend, I sometimes overcome with sinful cravings of the flesh. It is surely simple. Simply the lack of women around here. I suspect that Brorda is also plagued by this. 
Okay, yeah. Also, you guys are military dudes. Mm. We haven't had a kid. Um, Aquarius proud, greedy. I am not lustful, though. So I'm not gonna roleplay this. Now, if I say I'll manage, I have a chance to become straight, stressed or chased, both affecting my fertility. Or I go full homosexual on him, but I'm not lust, so I'll manage and I get stressed. That's a negative one to health, and this is a negative two, so I'm at negative two overall. Not good. We're young, though. The blood of Nile make whatever flows through my veins. Since the days he walked the earth, we have abandoned our old pagan faith. Though I do see merit in the ways that helped shape such a legend. We were once like them. Sympathy for pagans. Religious same trade? No, the old ways are better. Piety. No, well, we'll get some sympathy for pagans. Why not? There have been new sights to behold every day. As I travel to Africa by my own estimates, I should be halfway to Hippo. I am not used to long hikes like these, but it has been a nice change of pace. Hippo. Is that a Car Carthaginian city? Sounds familiar. I wonder what awaits me in Hippo. It's been a long day of traveling when I come across a burning inn. I had hoped to find a place to stay for the night, but these people are clearly in dire need of help, just stopping the flames from engulfing the entire place. God calls upon me to help out these people. I lose gold, and I lose greedy, which is a tax modifier. God calls me to continue my pilgrimage. I lose prestige, and I gain deceitful. Which helps my combat skill. God calls upon me to grab some valuables while they are busy. Oh, that give, gives me gold, but I lose prestige. Hmm. I am making prestige at almost double the rate of gold, so this... 50 gold could be pretty useful. Deceitful would push my intrigue past 10. My diplomacy down. But my combat skill up. So I think I'll take that. Just for combat skill. All of a sudden I find myself in Hippo before I know it. It has been a long journey through the wilds and to once more see people is nice as i walk through the city streets i compare it to my homeland and wonder how people have adjusted to these exotic lands i should find my way to the burial site of saint augustine as quickly as possible uh that is what i'm here for after all i wonder what the grave will look like yeah it takes me a good while until I finally manage to find the chapel I was looking for. As I enter, I can truly feel the presence of St. Augustine lingering in the place. Okay. I spend several minutes praying until finally a priest appears. I am taken aback when he explains to me that St. Augustine was in fact moved away from the chapel several centuries ago. That explains the lack of other pilgrims. What a journey. Okay. Well, so much for that. been a long journey i finally start recognizing my homeland once more the woods the streets people are all familiar i start smiling to myself it's nice to be home all right so i am a pilgrim now and that means i have a piety bonus and a faith bonus this guy doesn't care mm, my chancellor dude come on how many years do i have to wait it's been three already my marshal has discovered a man of great military talent. That's Irish, is a strategist and a tough soldier. Excellent. This is excellent.
Levy size, four level. Okay, so let's let's go for that. I might have been military wise. 1.1k. This guy's got 541. This guy's down 840. Okay, my wife is pregnant. But I was away, wasn't I? It don't matter, man. I've thought it over. I cannot be the father of my wife's baby. As it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. Hire someone to find out. No, I trust her word. No, I trust her word. They just. Whatever. The game, even if we got cheated on, the game will still honor the um, inheritance. A farmer told me how his boar had managed to break into his neighbor's ho hoggery, and the result was seven small piglets. <laughs> now his neighbor demanded compensation he can't afford, and they need... Uh, me to tell them what to do. He should pay his neighbor, and I gain just. Hmm. Keep one piglet each, the rest belongs to me. Gain one gold only. No, we're gonna become just. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the council, the county of uh, Dublin is doing very well. People are happy, and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. Well, that's wonderful. That's pretty good. I need that air pretty soon because it doesn't look like I'm getting any healthier. It is good tradition to have some gossip around a pregnant woman in order to keep her calm and distracted from the tribulations of the delicate time in her life. As Giuseppe's husband, it is my duty to provide her with the support she needs. So I will have some maids dispatched and I lose some gold, I gain some piety, and she gains some health. She doesn't need old women filling her head with nonsense and I lose piety. Yeah, I, I don't care about the piety. I don't want to lose the gold. It's awfully quiet. My wife has asked me to buy her some new clothes because the pregnancy she has outgrown most of her wardrobe and now she feels frustrated for not having anything nice to wear whenever she needs to make an appearance. Very well, it's just one gold and I get prestige. Oh no, she gets prestige. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's fine. For one gold. Whatever. My steward has been hard at work. Well, good for you, bub. You could increase. We have a new heir. Um, she has not inherited any traits specifically. We want her to focus on etiquette. Yeah. Good job, wife. Wait, she has two kids? One's the age of six? <gasps> and this guy's the dad? Hold on, she she wasn't married before, but she had a kid. Ooh. This is awkward. Alright, the wooden hill fort's been built. Holy cow, that's awkward. I never even thought to check for that. My marshal tells me that one of my commanders has improved significantly. Gains trickster. Very well. Hey, we could revoke titles now. Let's do that. Because we adopted legalism. My liege, my ha uh -huh. during my visit to the Pope, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent person. Ooh. We gained some bonus points with the Popo. Oh, King of Lombardy has set up Pope Tato. Uh, go to his location. So this guy, Lombardy, has set up this guy as an anti-pope 
Hmm. What does that mean? We can declare war to dispose of the antipope. If we win, we get piety and prestige and some moral authority. He's got 3,000 troops, though. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna sit quietly. Hmm. Tired. Chief has fulfilled the ambition to see the realm prosper. Yeah, this place is prospering. Right? Where do you see that? I mean, I guess there's the visual there. Oh, they're prospering. No hospitals. Oh, yeah. In order to put a hospital, I need... Hmm. That's fine. Alright, new ambition. Groom an heir. Build a war chest. We might be able to achieve that. Create a treasury. Yeah, no, let's build a war chest. Dude, the chancellor, dude, come on. It's been five years. Let's put you on the other property. See if that spices things up a bit. My friend and I had planned to go hunting together, but then he broke his leg. I realized that I either had to find someone else or to accompany me or cancel it altogether. I'll just wait and gain content. Gives me piety. Eh. No. We managed to kill too much brain when I went hunting with uh, my marshal. So we decided to uh, sell some of the meat. When we had sold everything, we got into an argument over the money. We hunted in my forest. I should get more than you. One gold, and this guy is slightly pissed with me. Okay, well, one gold's not that much. Hmm. <laughs> Now I gotta wrap this episode up soon. Hey, we have a hundred prestige, so let's go ahead and build a morale retinue, heavy infantry ships. We're gonna go with the heavy infantry. Okay, some some stuff there. Hey, we are prospering in Meath as well. Wonderful. That means less revolt risk, more tax, less disease, uh, resistance, but and more levy reinforcement. So, my kinsmen are everywhere. Good job, Stuart. Good job. Six forty two, okay, so oh, we have one point seven military. That's good. Oh, these guys fractured. Uh the my Manishan faith triumphant. The adherents of the Zoroastrian faith have steadily dwindled to the point where Manishian believers are in the majority. This new state of affairs reduced the Zoroastrian faith to the fact of heresy, all former Zoroastrian holy orders are now Menachean. Okay. So if we go by religion. Zoroastrian. Oh, there's still a pretty big stronghold here of Zoroastrian. Menachean is here. Mm hmm. Alright, so I received a letter from my fellow member of the Benedictine 
order. Dear brother, will you, uh, as the Christian scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry or the attempt of it? Reading through the attached documents, there are multiple verses all in honor of God. So I am I missing the more comforting aspects of faith? They'll receive a letter with advice. While I enjoyed this, uh, the metaphors, they seem a little forced. Writing is frivolous. Um, comforting aspects of faith. I was beginning to think that uh, Michael took offense to my comments, but they have received a new draft of his work. I'm surprised to find that his words really speak to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out. I implore you, brother, bear with me. I'm, it's not finished. Nonsense, this is brilliant work, and the world needs to see it. So I lose 55 gold and gain diplomacy? I'm not going to publish his books for 55 gold, and just for one diplomacy. Uh, I think the Benedictine Alder would treasure these words, so you intend to make sure that these writings will go to the Benedictine, uh, Benedictine Order for safekeeping, and I gain some piety. Or we can use our deceitful trait and steal the writings, credit them to ourselves, lose the piety, but I get prestige. You know we're gonna go with that one. We're we're ta we're a strategist. We're a trickster. We're ambitious, greedy, and proud and deceitful. So we're we're gonna steal these. Uh, Pope is happy with me again. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that prestige. Look at that prestige. I suppose this, that I should be flattered that you felt the need to stoop this low. You, I read, my brother Michael seems to have gotten wind of my poetry. It's currently the talk of the town and people seem to really appreciate how I focused on the comforting aspects of faith. Uh, so he's... Oh, we become bitter rivals. Dang. Alright. Yellow glass training grounds has been built. She's pregnant again and I doubt it. Okay. I've thought it over. I cannot be. Don't worry. Don't worry, bro. A farmer told me his boar managed to break into his neighbors. Okay, so we can do the just thing. Give the neighbor four of the piglets. Plus two diplomacy temporarily. Okay. Some nice stats here. When am I gonna advance? I want a pilgrimage. Am I not done with that? The pregnancy has caused my wife to develop a quite unusual tastes. Most of the of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's craving should always be accommodated. Are you sure you don't want... You do not mean a quail's leg, dear? So she wants the foot. Lose one gold. Uh, a hare's head for one gold. On earth would you want a fish's eye? Yeah, I do have greedy and I could say why on earth do I need to spend money on this nonsense? And she gains stress, so we're not going to do that. Which one of these do I think will cause the least amount of injury for her? Probably uh, a hare's head. Let's go with that. A farmer told me how his... Why does this just keep repeating? That's weird. There's like a, a bunch of events. I don't know how that one glitched out three times in a row. This pregnancy has made my wife much more talkative and cheerful than usual. She never misses the chance to chat with anybody with an earshot. Unfortunately, most scholars agree that a pregnant woman should spend as much time as possible resting in a dark room to avoid giving birth to a sickly child. She should rest and um, she'll guess less stewardship about more health or I'll let her have fun and less stewardship and more diplomacy. No, we want health. With the mum. Mumsers. So these guys broke, uh, and these guys broke. Which would be excellent for me to come and start swiping these properties, but my 
22 Chancellor is just not doing it, man. Alright, we have a new heir. He has a hair lip. Less than charming trait. Uh, a diplomacy issue. <sighs> so, you're gonna have to learn to struggle in life. Daddy's a big military strategist and you have a, a weakness, but you can overcome it, but it's gonna be a struggle. Your wife has sent you a gift is a small puppy but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into the great hunting dog i'll accept it and that gives me health send it back no pay someone to quietly dispose of it no name hunter we're gonna name the dog hunter all right sweet we have plus one health from that and we got two kids. Doing pretty good. I just wish I had more property. Alright, let's fast forward some more. Your dog is growing quickly and no longer a puppy. He runs fast and has a keen nose. And your dog handlers praise his good character. 10 prestige. Poachers have been seen in Dublin, so I should probably send my spy master and my marshal to investigate. If more important things to do, merciful, plus 10, a point 10 prestige, poachers need to be eliminated. Mm. Let's be merciful and get extra prestige. Um... We have received the white stag. All right, let's go get the white stag again. Stewart's been doing good. This time the stag will not escape me. Uh, scouring the countryside for your prey, you come upon a lone rider. As you strike up a conversation, it turns out he also hunts the same animal, great animal that you are after. His lack of success thus far seems to match yours, but he invites you to talk and share experiences. Sure. Fate smiles. You have returned in the court. The hunt for the elusive white stag seems fruitless, but there are many more things out there in the wilds. Maybe next time. This guy's a hunter. Well, he's a brilliant strategist and a hunter too. Yeah, he's like my twin. All right, and the commander got a promotion. Good job. There are a few monasteries close by. Yeah. Fine, we'll go. We'll go do that again. It has now been the monastery for a few days with this guy. And this guy is an indulgent wastrel. Diligent, zealous, craven, patient, charitable. Oh, he's got the pox and he's a lunatic. Uh, let's just do small talk with him. A daughter, a daughter was born to us. She is sickly. You're gonna learn humility, my child, if you survive. My court physician is worried about my newborn daughter. Tamer is in a uh, is a feeble little thing, even compared to other infants. Uh, and uh, Haramel says that she might not live to see her first birthday. Yeah, tough, tough times back then. Uh, please attempt to treat the daughter. Though we had a good time, it doesn't seem Camissus uh, was too enamored by the activity. That's too bad. You want to be friends with a lunatic? It seems that whatever treatment this guy administered to my kid worked. Little Tamara is much better. Now she appears to be no different than other children her age. She loses sickly. Alright, you're still going to have humility. Everyone at court loves your dog, especially your children. Well, that's nice. No longer court chaplain. Oh, he died at 53 of natural death. My marshal discovered a great man. Tells me that one of his commanders has improved. 
Wonderful. All right, so we need a new chaplain. Let's put our vassal. Yeah, hunt apostate. Let's see what happens. The I iconoclast faith triumphant. Iconoclast believers were the majority. For orthodox faith to a de facto heresy. Ooh, really orthodox. And we have 100 prestige. Let us build a... Uh, weaponsmith. Post limit. Oh, okay. Peasants have sent a representative to petition for our support of one of their traditional carnivals. Oh, I lose just. Mm. All right, we can afford it. Do I get a bonus at all? My wait, is this my kid? No, it's just a co 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 courtier. Courtier, uh, ambitious young man. I should teach him to be proud of himself. Good for him. Wait, why do I care about this kid? Why do I care about this kid? What do I care about this kid? Loses the trait willful, which is intrigue, gains ambitious. I don't want to have an ambitious person in, in, in my midst. Proud. Yeah, go for proud. Ambitious vassals and courtiers are, are a problem. Uh, Donatus has contacted me asking if I have any interest in learning more about roses. Apparently his latest achievement involves dark red variant mixed with a particular type of yellow. Fascinating. I shall visit the monastery and see this feat accomplished. I must have some. Seems like a waste of my time. Alright, let's go visit the garden. Escorted through the gardens of the monastery, I immediately spot the work of the brother Odeka. The roses are a delicate mixture of red and yellow, a hue of sunset at their center. They're beautiful, my escort nods, offering me a small spade. They're a little cramped over though. there, though. Would you mind helping out? I, th I can do that, and I have the chance of learning or getting dirty and losing some prestige. Thank you, but no thanks. And just a good burp. Impression. So, do I want a 60% chance of learning or 40% chance of less learning? Thank you, but no thanks. For some time now, my wife has been overcome with fatigue and troubled by a persistent cough. Uh, shoot. Okay. I have now been informed that these symptoms are due to pneumonia. You there. Go to my wife. Yes. Good news. We have received credible reports. Saddle my horse. Ooh. The wifey died. This time, the stag will not escape. Alright, so we're unmarried. So we need to look for the women. Um... Let's get a really high stewardship one. Fortune builder. Yeah, let's let's try try you. I'll lose a hundred prestige. Ugh. Is there anyone else that wouldn't hit me so hard in the prestige? I mean, everyone's a courtier, so... A courtier. I don't know how to say that word. Oh, I can do it by rank. Countess. 
Okay, gonna get this countess. Are you interested? What about you? Yes, and I would get a hundred. Okay. Sweet. Wait, where the heck are you? Oh, that's interesting. I accept. I was about to lose a bet, and although I felt inclined to cheat, I had to be just. Okay. Lose the goal. Alright. Fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the wilds. As you knock, an old crone opens when she sees you and your hunting party. She cackles eagerly and says that she has a powerful potion that will make you a stronger hunter. Sure to catch prey. Hmm. I do have one boy. I should probably... Before I do anything... I should probably invest in the shipbuilding. Okay, good. There. Alright. Now you can sell it to me. You drink the potion down so you start to feel warm inside. The crone whispers, see, you know that this will make you stronger. I can see it in your eyes now. Go, great hunter. You return home certain in your belief that next time you'll find your prey. I gain diligent. That's actually awesome. You have returned to court. Elusive white uh, seems fruitless again. Alright, and we can rank up. Thank you for the advancement. I gained some learning. Learning or stewardship? Wait, stewardship. Nice. We're at 13. He's finished his education. In stewardship, I notice with pride that he has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. He is Midas touched. But who is this guy? Some rando. Visiting the monastery at which my order has convened. This time I join my fellow lay members in dutifully performing all tasks required of us. In the evening after the day's work, the abbot gathers all the visiting members, uh, lay members, and reveals the monastery great treasure, a great relic that has been safeguarded here for many generations. Oh, this is tempting. That's nice, I guess. Lose ambitious? No. Let us celebrate. I'm paying. Mm, don't care about pleasing everyone. It should be mine. Plan on stealing it. Holy cow, none of these options are good. Okay. We're a strategist. With 12 intrigue. We're strategists, a deceitful, greedy, proud strategist. It should be mine. I don't know, man. <sighs> Having decided the relic would be much better safeguard in my own hands, I must now tackle the task of how to liberate it from the confinements of <laughs> the confines of the monastery. I can think of a few different paths. Grab it and run. Bribe the abbot. No. Grab it and run. My plan went flawlessly. Not a single soul saw or heard me during the night, and it was not uh, ear daybreak that that was discovered. Nobody suspects it. All right, we have a nail of the true cross, and the ship has been built. All right, so we now have a treasury. Quality three. This is good. Uh, gives me prestige and piety and diplomacy. Mm. That's good. And the wife was pregnant, uh, going through a particularly harsh pregnancy. Perhaps it would be best for her to retire for a few months. Yes. Uh, she finally decided to come out of hiding. No longer feel for fearful of her. Okay. Some research, excellent. Military talent, good job. I have another daughter who's also sickly. You will also be humble and hum humil humiliated, I don't know. Good news, we've received. Saddle my horse. 
Bob died. You spent weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but no avail. However, you find that you rather enjoy being out in the wilds. All this daily activity makes you feel stronger. I gain bravery. Plus one health. Plus two martial. Holy cow, that's good. Yes. Dude, fought like a beast. During this evening's council meeting, the marshal told us a rumor of he had encountered peasants speak of an artifact hidden in some not far away from here. Yeah. Range of search. Ooh, there's some war going on here. Oh yeah, there's a rebellion going on here. Do I have an interest in learning about roses. Let's say I just need to have some. Oh, plus prestige. The roses I had sent for now have been planted in my own garden, our garden spreading joy and uh, to anybody who passes. Sweet. Oh, dude, we have a lot of prestige. I need castle infrastructure one. All right, let's go here, because we also own this, and let's just advance that one. Ooh, we're getting so much prestige and everything. We're doing really good. We're doing really good. And this song is just rocking. All right, so that's been built. Steward's doing great. Steady progress in search of the artifact. Poachers. Yeah. Some extra research. Very nice. That's under the military tab. That's under economy. During your hunt, you come to a deep gorge. Right on the other side is the white stag staring at you. You're so close, yet cannot reach it. As it runs away, you realize that you must return home without a victory. <gasps> I'm sure I'll catch it someday. Now I know my purpose in life, and I get a hunter. Gives me 20% pursuit, 2 martial diplomacy. And I'll be known as the hunter. That's awesome. What do we have here? We have a message about an arranged bet bet betrothal between my daughter. Uh, yes, my daughter can be bet betrothed. And she needs, she's an indolent, conscientious playful all right well she is going to focus on diplom diplomacy all right marrying her out to, to other empires very good very good words stood against word the farmers against the courtiers about damage caused to the farmer's house by cow owned by the courtier the farmer is obviously lying the farmer should be compensated okay hold on I am greedy, deceitful, but I am ambitious, gregarious, and diligent, and just, and a strategist. So, the farmer has an issue with the courtier because his, the farmer's house got damaged by a cow. The farmers obviously should be compensated. My spy master is happy. No, he's not. Was not happy. 
What? I'm confused. What's going on? I've decided to take Tamir along with me today as I preach to the people about God and how they should try to live their lives according to the rule of St. Benedictine. Tamir is uh, attentive throughout and I'm sure she has learned a valuable lesson. She's an excellent student. Yes. Am I supposed to go somewhere? Active mission. Go on a pilgrimage. I have gone on a pilgrimage. I have the pilgrim thing. That's weird. Kingdom of Italy. The ancient Lombard kingdom was established in Italy after a long history of migration originating in Northern Europe. Along the way, the Lombards themselves have changed, both influencing uh, and becoming influenced by the region they have settled. Now it has finally come to pass that the Lombard lands in Italy no longer have Lombard ruler. This effectively spells the end of the name of Kingdom of Lombards. We shall henceforth speak of the Kingdom of Italy. Ooh. Alright, so some kingdoms are starting to form. Italy, Bulgaria, the Magyars, the Khazars. Oof, 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 oof. West Fra Francia, Middle Francia, Saxony, Bohemia. Okay, we, we're really late. We're really late at the table. Don't know what this guy's doing. Good job, Marshal. The falconer is expecting me as a is expecting me as a new hunting bird has arrived. Tell him I'm busy. I need to go hunting right now. Yeah. He can no longer fulfill his duty for the artifact. What happened? He died. Clutching in his gut. Cough, abdominal pain, malaise. At 47. Shame. We have plenty of other highly trained and qualified people, though, right? Tough soldier, lightfoot leader, flamboyant schemer. Oh. Okay, we'll use this guy. Yep. Or, um. You know what? Train troops. Let's increase our military. Let's beef it up. I am bringing my son to the local monastery today. Excellent student. Good job. Great. We got some tech. After I told uh, the boy that it was time to head on home, he looked at me with a grin on his face and told me to race him home, leaving me to carry everything on my own. So I could erase him and he gains playful. Or lecture him about responsibilities. Oh, this is the hair lip one. Yeah, erase him. Yeah. He never seems to be grumpy, always playing without a care in the world. That's it. That's my boy. Okay, we're almost at 200 prestige. Everyone loves my dog. Oh, <gasps> finally. Ooh, I lose prestige for doing this, but use it. Okay. So now, we need to take that. Oh, I Finally, uh, the chest pains I've been experiencing lately have seemed to stop. They're occurring less frequently, and they recently disappeared. So the only thing I have going for me now is I'm stressed, which is just negative one to health. But I have plus one to health from this, plus 0.5 health from that. Um... And plus one health from hunting focus, so there's that. Ooh, a small kitty's demanding attention. Pet the kitty. I gain kind. And negatively affects my combat skill. Allows the kitten to follow you home. <gasps> Intriguing health. Kick the kitty. Cruel and one-eyed. No, we're going to allow the kitty to follow us home. See if the dog will eat it. Uh, Donatus Maria has contacted me asking if we're very interesting learning about roses. I simply must have some. 
uh, the hectic life of a ruler rarely allows for sufficient time for contemplation. Penance. Sure. Let's go do some penance. Today my seclusion begins I have selected a simple chamber in the village where I will spend most of my time during the coming months. Within those bare walls I shall do my prayers, read the bible, and contemplate my life and actions. God shall be my companion. The roses. Nice. As she's growing older, my daughter uh, could use some guidance. She deserves greatness, ambition, patient. I get out of patience. She must learn on her own. Oh, she's betrothed. Yeah, yo, yo, go, go ambitious, go big. I cannot make sense of this passage of the Bible. The words are archaic and the meaning is deeply hidden by copious layers of symbolism. It would greatly benefit my spiritual development if I discovered the text essence on my own. Although at this point, perhaps I would better be asking uh, my court chaplain. So I could go on my own, 35% ch chance that I find something with the court chaplain, 65%. I'm going to do it on my own. I refuse to ask for help. Surely I, the chief, would know enough of, uh, of the Bible to understand the meaning of this passage. Hour upon hour, I sat staring at the words, trying to make sense of them. Each interpretation I could think of felt lackluster and hollow. The wisdom of God is beyond my understanding. Your two pets truly fight like cat and dog. You can barely sleep at night unless you lock them in a separate rooms. If you're of confinement, your cat has begun hiding before bedtime. Yesterday, you spent the better part of an hour looking for it. It cannot be stand this much longer. They'll figure it out. I will find a new owner for my dog. No. The cat is obviously unhappy. They're going to cause an issue. I don't need the health bonus. Bye bye, cat. Young Lan might be, 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 be a betrothed uh, daughter. Seems to always be willing to share. Oh, you're going to become gregarious, lady. She did not. Okay. A group of robbers scotting themselves. Yeah. Immersement. For me, the biggest challenge while doing penance is the solitude. As I sit here and reflect upon the role of St. Benedict, thoughts enter my mind, which I desperately want to share with someone, but I rarely have the exchange single world words since I began my seclusion. I glance out of my window to see Brian engaged in a lively conversation. Okay. So this guy is my marshal. I'll go down and join them. I struggle with penance, but I have a 50% chance of befriending him. I should stay here. I have 20% chance to lose gregarious, 50% chance of getting depressed. Um, I'm going to go talk to him. While Brian and his friends were surprised to see me, they were excellent companies. I stood there surrounded by people I could not stop, uh, uh, not stop talking. What was supposed to be a few minutes turned into an hour before my companions had to excuse themselves to get back to their duties. I struggle with my penance. The priest accuses, accuses a couple of villagers of blasphemy after he heard them take the Lord's name in vain. The blacksmith did it when his thumb hit the hammer. Uh, his when he hit his thumb with the hammer. The stable master when a horse kicked him and the cook when a rat fell into the stew. So what? Unfunny. A couple of days in the dungeon should be fine. Uh, no negatives. Of course, uh, of course, it was going too well. A queasy feeling overcomes you and you feel immediate urge to vomit. Negative one. Uh, Bishop. <sighs> okay, my core chaplain is confident your symptom is not due to serious illness and it will pass quite soon. Nevertheless, he's going to give me some uh, treatments. Uh, to invigorate you, Bishop recommended that you consume what made you strong in the first place and thus provide you with the drugs of human breast milk. Thanks. I have plus one to health. Today, I decided to go visit my cat at Robert's residence. 
When I arrived, I found him playing more enthusiastically with the little furball. I watched him for several minutes before I announced myself. Thank you. We became friends. Hey, I lost vomiting. Okay, good. I know that St. Benedict was a paragon of temperance, however, I struggled to control my appetite while doing penance. I'm supposed to eat very simple food in small portions, but I'm growing weary. I cannot concentrate when my stomach rumbles. After a little treat, I shall return to my duties. 65% chance of dealing with vice by practicing moderate. I shall defeat my desire with a fast. A f failing f terribly to overcome the vice. Well, let's do moderate. After midnight, I ventured, ventured in the kitchen to find something to still my hunger. I quickly found my favorite treats and proceeded to have handfuls in my mouth. <laughs> However, my binge was interrupted as a servant entered the room. As I hid in the pantry, the shame washed over me and I could not eat anything else. No progress with my penance. I am bent over the Bible, trying to make sense of especially cryptic passages where a faint tap on the door breaks my concentration. I call my visitor to enter. To my surprise, little uh, sunny boy, uh, hair lipped face peeks through <laughs> the opening. Father, why are you hiding? I miss you. Ooh. Uh oh, daddy issues. Come here, son. We shall read together. I'm sorry, my proud loud comes set. 20% chance to gain kind. I don't have time. Let's try and get kind. Do we have it? No. We didn't get it. And it looks like we can rank up. And we're going to get even more stewardship. So we're going to go from 13 to 14. Every other court loves my dog. Which kid needs my son? My son with a hair lip. He is becoming quite the martial guy. All right, go do your martial training. And I think that is enough for this first episode. We are going to save game here. Uh, number one. And we will continue next time.